Miss Serenet, ain't you never seen a gent before? No, I haven't. Are you tired? I've been running hard. I see. You must be running from the beak. The what? Now, don't tell me you don't know what a beak is, with flesh man. Isn't a beak what a bed's got? My eyes! How green! A beak is a magistrate for your information. Are you hungry? Starving. Got no mother? No. Father? No. Oh. My pal. Uh, lovely weather we're having today, don't you think? Staying in London? Yes. Oh, got any lodgings? No. Money? Not a farthing. Do you live in London? When I'm at home. I suppose you're looking for some place to sleep tonight, aren't you? Are you accommodated? No, well, I don't think so. Well, then accommodated you shall be, me old mate. It just so happens that I know of a certain house with a respectable old gent who lives there. One will give you lodgings for nothing and never ask for the change. This is, that is, if any other gent, what he knows he deduces you. And does he know me? I should say he does. Not I. And so. Well, who is this respectable old gentleman? Is he a charity gentleman? Well, not exactly. You see, I wouldn't exactly say that, uh, but if I introduce someone, it's all right on account of I happen to be a particular favor to Mr. Fagan. And that's his name, Mr. Fagan. But hey, if I'm introducing you to Fagan, I better know who you are, the old China play. My name's Oliver, Oliver Twist. And my name's Jack Goffins. Better known among me more intimate friends as the Artful Dodger. Well, pleased to meet you, Mr. Darkings. Uh, come to think of it, I don't really have any intimate friends. Still, what's the difference? You're coming with me, me old pork sausage. Are you sure Mr. Fagan won't mind? Mind? <laughs>